I'm gonna go through the different connections you can add to your atoms. So here I am in a Protolus workspace. I've imported an article using the web page import function when I set up this page. And I'm gonna read it through. And when I come across something that's interesting, I'm gonna highlight and hit capture atom. And atoms lift that piece of information out of the page so that you can view and use and access it across your workspace. Now, when you create an atom, you automatically create a link between the atom and its source. And this is the first tag that appears within this bar above your atom. And the source tag is indicated by the arrow in the circle at the beginning of the tag. And in this bar above the atom, you can add tags or connections or links to other pages in your workspace. So you click in the box and you'll be given a list of all the pages in your workspace, which you can browse through. Or if you know the name of the page that you want to link it to, you can start typing in the bar. So I'm gonna add a couple of tags to this atom. So as I selected the pages, they appeared as tags within this linking bar. And wherever you have your atom open like this and you've got the list of tags available, you can click on them and it will open up the page. Now time management is a tag that sits within my tags table. As it sits in a table, the atoms display at the top of this page, but if you scroll down, there's also a dedicated atom section at the bottom. And you can see that in addition to that atom that I just captured and connected to this page, there are other atoms that have also been given the same tag. And I can click on any of these atoms to open up that atom box and see all of the tags that have been added to it. And all of these tags represent the connections between an atom and other pages in the workspace. And so by adding these connections, you create the atom once, but it then exists in multiple places. When you open that page, the atom will display there. And you can make use of all the atoms you've connected around particular pages to pull information together in one place to use in a project. So as an example, if I were to be writing a blog post, I don't have any atoms connected to this specific page, but I can import the atoms from the other pages that are relevant to this topic so that I've got a starting point of information to work with. I can then go to the atoms menu in the top right and select the drop down option here next to the plus button and select import atoms from a page. So since this blog is on the topic of time-saving tips, I'm going to grab all of the atoms that I've collected around time management and import them into this page so that I have them to hand to work with and refer to. So if I select the time management page from the list, all of the atoms now display within my atoms menu for this page. And then if you want to use any of the atoms in your piece of writing, you can drag and drop them into the page. And this will give you the atom text in your page and you can then edit and tweak so that it fits into your writing. And whenever you drag and drop an atom into your page, you are embedding it into this page. And what that means is that when you view this atom, if I open it back up, a tag to this current page has been added to that atom automatically. And you'll see that there is a symbol within this tag, this downward pointing arrow. And this means that the atom has been cited or embedded into this page. And whenever you drag and drop an atom into your page and embed it there, you will also create a numbered citation and a references section. And what this citation does is give you a direct link back to the source where you originally captured your atom. So if I click on this, it will open up the original source within my workspace and take me to the location of my atom in that source page. So wherever you come across your atom, similar to that source tag, if it's been embedded in a page, there will be a numbered citation, which will take you back to that source. So I showed you that you could import atoms and then drag and drop them into your page. And there's two other ways that you can embed your atoms into a page. I'm gonna open this resources table in split screen. So I do that by control click on the page. And here I've got several different resources, which I've added into this workspace and captured some atoms from. I'm gonna open up one of them. And just to demonstrate to you, grab some text and you can drag and drop this text straight into the page. And so this is a quick way to both create an atom and add it into a page without having to hit the button, import it and drag it in. And there is also a citation for me to jump back to the source whenever I come back to this page. And then the final way that you can add atoms into your page is to have uh, another page open, navigate to the atom and drag and drop it into your page. And whenever you move your atoms around and embed them into pages, all of the corresponding tags and connections are automatically added for you. So that's how you can connect and use your atoms across your workspace.